Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Give this a little bit. Rest that y'all was going to fall off for another hour, being that I have to be up at 8. Because I've been up since like 6.30. I hope you guys are all being blessed this morning. And um, I was going to get on up and go ahead and jump in the shower because I got a little business before I have to be, you know, where I have to be every day. <laughs> mm, so, so I'm jumping up, get in the shower real quick, and go handle some other business before, like I say, because I'll be there all day. <laughs> but I hope that you guys are all being blessed and, um, oh. Yeah, just thanking God for every little thing which everyone should be doing. And um, I wanted to talk to you guys about the cornix. So, this particular cornix, you may have known about this person with these different particular cornix. Which is showing up to be that all of them are just cormics. The masculine, this cormic masculine doesn't want to get out of the way of themselves for the life of them until something extravagant happens. And I mean, it's not going to be a good extravagant. It's going to be, you know, on the cormic side. So... You could have decided to walk away, you know, not allowing these people to disrespect you, allowing you to be in a space and place of integrity, um, you know, just holding it down, having your boundaries set. You know, respecting who you are as a person, knowing that you have went through, like, I don't know who this, these particular Cormac masculines are or you guys masculines are, but no, how they feeling, how they operating, how they're making it seem how they're making it look they don't meet the criteria to be acting in no manner shape or form that they are acting and the particular people that they're dealing with if they're not checking their background or knowing knowing who this particular person is because what I'm getting is this could be a person that they around and about and through and just basically try to get what they can get from individuals uh, to help maintain and sustain their livelihood. They're really on survivor mode and they're doing it on a very, very low vibration. Um, God is saying, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh, the same way they thought that, oh, if you, this person thought that they could have you and you would accept all the the uh, clownery, the being in the parade with the clowns, which is an embarrassment. Some of you guys could be embarrassed or is not even pretty much going to mention that y'all had no dealings with this person because behind the scene, you started seeing different things that this person was about and it was on a low vibration to the point to where it's not even this is something that you wouldn't even want to be in the public or whatever you close the door on that and shut that you know let no one know that you was even involved this person is an embarrassment 
their energy. I mean, to do the only thing that this person probably do got going for themselves is their mouth full of lies that they can speak to you at any given time in their private parts that they put down so well that they didn't slept with so many different people from the age range of 18 to anywhere to worth any to 50 years old. This person could be an older gentleman that is stuck. They're older, but they have like a kid-like mentality. It very immature. They operate immaturely. They hop from partner to partner. This ex that they're dealing with, the only reason why they deal with this person is because of what this person was giving them as well. Whether it was sex, money, letting them have their way with them, letting them call them whenever they want to, you know, hopscotch and jumping whenever this person tell them to and so forth. This person could have even been living in in the home with this person, but they had their own separate place where they could leave. I did a reading on this like months back. This person have their own private place where they can go and sleep with different and multiple people that they can pick up off of different internet sites. But they also was living with this other this Cormac where this person would <coughs> have an argument or a dispute or something with this Cormac and leave from with the Cormac so many days out of the week. And this was a pattern of what this Corm this Cormac masculine was doing. They were doing this with this Cormac and this Cormac was allowing them to do it because of no self-worth, low self-esteem, you know, just different things. Uh, it could have been sexual base, you know, and no, this is a person that does not have no self will, no self love, no self respect, low self esteem, don't even know who they are as a person, will jump in and out of bed with anyone by all means just to get what they want, whether it's sex, money they're lusting or whatever and this Cormac just allowed this person to do that whether it was to use it for a ride because a lot of these Cormac masculines could have got their car repo don't have their car um could be using the Cormac for a car and all of this different stuff, you're just not in it or whatever. They could have even been sending negative energy towards you. They found out who you were to the point to where something even happened to your car. That's how low vibrational they are. Their energies, everything about them or whatever, you know, as they're getting things deducted and snatched and subtracted away from them, by you even dealing with them, it's spilling over into your life, which is causing havoc and causing things to occur and happen in your space and place of your livelihood, all in the accountability of dealing with this low vibrational person, which is an embarrassment. You shouldn't even want anyone to know that you had any dealings with this person. Well, this person is getting their issue. And the Cormac too. And the Cormac could be someone that, you know, she is a mother or whatever, may have several children. But, you know, this Cormac get down and dirty real ugly. It could be behind the scene. They could have been trying to, they could be spying on your pages, snatching things, taking things. This Cormac masculine and this Cormac feminine, uh, taking things to try to use for themselves some of your work or your material to use for themselves which they're going to be they're going to get called out they're going to either get in trouble they're going they're not going to be able to do the stuff that they're trying to do
Just put it like that. And, you know, it's really basically an embarrassment and it's karmics everywhere. It's not to do with just uh, a connection that you're dealing with. You're dealing with these sort of people at work that's jealous, that's trying to backstab you behind your back and underrate your work. Uh, try not to show you different information that you may need at work that um, <coughs> could be useful trying to put someone above you because they see your light. They don't want it to shine bright. They want you, even you can have a manager that despise you, hate you, jealous of you, all because of your credentials that you are operating out of, which are just you personally. It's not anything that you're making up. You're not fronting. You're not fake flexing. You're not doing any of that. Now, them, on the other hand, they could be could be copying the way you dress, you walk, you talk. You, I mean, it's just karmics everywhere. Not only that, but in your family, you're dealing with it at work. You're dealing with it on the Internet. It's your family. It's, I mean, it's a whole shebang. And they're going to be put to rest. They're going to get embarrassed. Their embarrassment, they're going to be embarrassed. And it is what it is. I see some of you guys even to the point to where you're calling them out on it. And they're going to know you know. And, you know, it may make them angry. It may make them mad. But they're going to know you know that they're doing what they're doing. Um, it's going to be brought out into the universe, into the surface that they were doing it. Just the whole, I mean, you could, you and your kids or your family or your immediate family, just you and your kids could have a business that your other family members in different groups are copying, trying to snatch it up and take it for themselves. That's going to be put to rest because people's going to see because the jealousy in them is not going to allow them to be great. It's the jealousy and the hate that they have for you that's going to keep them from moving forward in whatever it is they were trying to do or they're trying to do now. Because I see it being a lot of just watching you trying to take things from you like God is going to, they could take your destiny or they could take what God have given to you that you are supposed to be blessed with take your money take your items take your giftings take whatever it is you're trying to do you just got so many takers around you that it's unbelievable it's sickening not only karmic partners but just everywhere they're seeing your get up they're seeing your style you got karmics that's plotting planning stalking you that come to you if you work, whatever, if they know where you work, your job, trying to get a reaction out of you, they can't stay away. Like their spirit is bothered by the presence of you. They're seeing you out in public where they're just, oh, I got to copy her. Oh, this and that and the other. Like it's all crazy. And that's what you are going through. Fasting, praying, drinking a lot of water, putting people back in their place and keep it pushing. You know, it doesn't have to be ugly to the point to where you got to get out of your body for these people because they're not worth it. You let God take care. Let God be God and let him fight your battle. But you make them well aware that you know what they're doing and keep it pushing. The BBLs isn't even going to keep these masculines that are for natural women, for the, the naturalness of things. Like going back to the heart of Texas, but going back to that empty space and place in your heart where you have healed to where you want to see things clearly. No color-coded lenses or anything of that nature. These masculines, these particular masculines that are men, 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 that were raised right, that aren't dealing, you know, 
isn't on a low vibration or they have healed and they're seeing clearly, they're going to see, you know, a lot of women with BBLs and all of that, they're going to be left by the wayside, falling by the wayside. It's just going to be sad. And they're going to realize like I did all of this work or I did this basically for nothing because I could have just easily kept being me. Just who I am as a person, the eyelashes, the hair is enough. It's enough. You know what I'm saying? We want to be, you know, walking in our divinity. We want to be a Proverbs 31 woman. We want to be the light that's shining bright. So it is what it is, y'all. That's where we're at. Um, BBL isn't even going to be able to keep these men. A lot of these Cormac feminines are in for a rude awakening. A lot of these men could care less if you got a BBL and got butt and all of that because they're not, they don't like you like that and they don't want you like that anyways because they want another man. So a lot of people are going to be finding out that a lot of things that they did out of malicious activities on a low vibration, trying to hinder someone else's walk, trying to copy Spy, stalk, gain stalk, try to steal someone else's. You can't steal anything that God give his people. You may try to, you can try to delay some stuff, but you can't steal anyone's destiny. You got to be out of your mind. You got to be on a low vibration to even, you can't be seeing clearly or thinking clearly. Your mental have to be, must be off. To think you can steal someone else's destiny. Because God is going to do what he say he's going to do. And he's going to be who he say he is. And he's going to move you. Remove you. And shatter your little empty whatever you thought that you were trying to do. To sabotage someone else. It's going to be shattered. It's going to be brought down. You're not going to do what you think you're going to do in the dark. It's going to be brought to light. That's justification. Periodically. So, it is what it is. So, yeah. Then you got these this other set of Cormics over here. You got this Cormic masculine that you could have had a child by. That while you was unhealed, you were dealing with these unhealed people as well. You have went on about your way and you meant you were going to heal and break the curse. And you still got these karmic masculines that you dealt with, that you had children by, that were, you know, sickening just like the karmics that may have came around and told you, oh no, she gave me an STD so that I could give it to you because she wanted that to happen to you because she didn't like you. She was trying to do that to you, which sound ignorant. No, you're just nasty. You just didn't know how to control your sexual desires, which led you and her to be lusting about you and this karmic that you feel the need to think uh, was trying to get at your divine feminine. Because, yeah, divine feminine, she's been a divine. She just was maybe going through something, but she been aware of you know, her placement in the world and what she was set out to do, you know, by little steps. She's been seeing little signs. She knew that she would always have, you know, she was put here and set out to do something great for humanity. So you got this one Cormac masculine over here, could be a child's father, went out, slept with the Cormac, got an STD, Probably brought it back to you. Luckily, it it was curable. Some wasn't. Okay. But it's stating, oh, she did that to get to you. No. You both were just walking spiritually blind. 
Y'all couldn't hold y'all sexual desires. Out here being nasty on a low vibration. Not loving yourself. And no, both of you are at fault. She didn't do that. She didn't have sex with you so that you can take it back to your partner. You both are responsible. You did it because you're karmics. Okay? So, that's where we're at. If you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. God bless. Bye.